Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. As you can see, we're in Mumbo's Mountain area place thing. Because I figured out how to get the, uh, the other... Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa! Secret off the bat! How do I get it? Do I have to... Can I shoot it? That was dumb. I was trying to do a friggin' backflip. Come on. Okay, no. I don't know. Weird. Uh, anyway, in the last part, we actually, uh, completed practically everything here in, uh, Mumbo's Mountain area. Except for the puzzle pieces. Which I'm assuming is probably the last Jiggy. I did look it up, and I kind of almost facepalmed. I forgot we collected all of, uh, Mumbo's collectible things that he wanted us to get. Um, as you guys can see, I actually only have 90. Uh, of the music notes, but I didn't want to go in here just in case Mumbo noticed right away that we had all five of his collectibles So, uh, I, I wouldn't miss, you know, but the, the, what basically what I'm saying is don't sweat it. We got this. We got it Mumbo, wake up Yeah, it would have automatically done it too. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on skull and press B to see mighty Mumbo magic. So, I was spoiled on what this is actually gonna do, but, um, that's okay. It's- it's only the- it's- it's- it's fine. I- I haven't seen it. I've just read it. Hey, Mumbo. Oh, press B. Ah! And... Nubadaba. I am suddenly a termite with a backpack. That's fantastic. Mumbo magic free to change back. Goodbye! Termite bait small bleh. Can't even see what he said. The, the transition of the little jiggy was across the screen by that time. Anyway, here we are. We're uh, termite form. This is neat. Also, I kept calling these guys ants. They're apparently termites. Who knew? I didn't. Actually, that makes no sense. This, this place is referred to in forums as the ant hole. Are termites, like, in the ant family? Do I, like... Okay, so I probably do do this. Uh, do I just cling easily? Okay, come on! Platforming skills of the simplest variety. I cannot do them. Come on! Jump at the apex of the, the thing. So now what? Oh, I can kind of just clip through it, can I? No, 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 no. Come on. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them! Listen, man. You can't have my shorts. Things would get really awkward if Mr. Termite here took off his pants. Wouldn't be the first time. What? Uh, okay, let's continue on trying to just- I can't- I don't know how to get up here for the life of me. This is awkward. Was there another thing? Could I just- should I just keep jumping right? Because the camera kind of changes, like, you could just jump up here now, you know. Okay. Oh, you do jump right. Okay. Hello! Ow. We're still not friends, are we? You just passed your best note score. Yeah, I know, man. I also got all of them, so tell me something else. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Thank you, Bubbles. Thank you. Let's uh, let's keep heading to the top of the ant hill. See what it has in store. I guess um, I guess that wasn't the last jiggy. So the last jiggy. Oh my God! Here we go again. Oh God, no. Okay, back to where we were. I guess I'm the master now of uh, termite jumping. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a skill that would look great on a resume. Oh my god, you have no many, I, you have no idea how many places to look for a termite jumper on the resume. Too many, too many to count. None, not actually. It's upsetting. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I guess the last jiggy's probably on the top of the ant hill. In fact, we did see an extra life last episode up here, so wouldn't surprise me. God, I keep trying to jump at the wrong time. Oh, eggs. That's not that useful. Give me that cool backpack, or else... Or else what? He, he walks away. You're so threatening, man. Termite used Intimidate. Oh, here we go. And Jiggy? Or just life? Well, there's the side wraparound thing. Uh -huh. Okay, let's continue on. I'm assuming, please. Yes. So this finishes up Mumbo's Mountain, right? There's ten jiggies to each world. Tell us, Bubbles! Tell us something! Okay, fanfare of destiny. 
Bubbles isn't actually gonna say anything? Like, you have the jiggies! Come sit down and let's put together a puzzle! Bubbles does not talk like that. Actually, who knows? Bubbles can talk like that. Um, I'm assuming, even though I'm a termite, I can't take a great fall. Uh, so I'm just gonna gradually work my way down. Let's go talk to Mumbo to get out of this form. Um, I'm assuming that Mumbo is in more places than just here. Also, I'm assuming that if I walked out of the world right now, I'd probably just turn into, um... Actually, can the termite help me get this? Yeah. The answer's no. I probably have to come back after I get something. Which is cool, because that makes this place replayable, in my opinion. Hey bud, I, I kind of want to turn back. Beam me down, Bobby! <laughs> Scuba Diver! Thanks, man. Uh, banjo form now. Phantasmal. Okay, uh, I did actually, while I was recollecting the, um... No, that's impossible. That's gotta be imp That Like, what the heck am I even supposed to do? Do you think? No, that makes no sense. I wouldn't go to the top of the anthill and fly, because that's literally impossible without the termite. Meh. I did, however, notice um, while I was collecting the the the, 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 the the music notes again, another one of those, uh, the, the honeycomb things, ah! Okay. At least I like the H2O. I actually really like the swimming controls in this game. I, I, I kind of think it's unique how there's two alternative ways to swim. You know what I mean? You got the, the banjo and then you got the kazooie way. Uh, who else is really not used to the name ukulele yet, though? Because banjo and kazooie are two different objects. Because you got the kazoo and the, baj ba the bajanjo. <laughs> oh, good. That's I'm glad I said that. Um... But ukulele, if you guys are unaware, is the actual protagonist's names. Uh, it does the, the whole duo thing again, so you got Yuka and you got Lele. Which I think it'll grow on us. I mean, let's, let's not... Let's not judge the name of the characters! I got it. Wow, cool. Oh, sweet! That actually gives us a new one! We've never seen this before. Cool! We actually have friggin' 7 health in total now. That's cool. That is really neat. We've collected all the pieces of the heart container. How many did we need? 9? Or 8? Or 9? Or 7? Or 6? Or 9? Or 9? Or 9? Wow! Your best note score for this world is now 100! Thanks, Bubbles. I was expecting him to say something when we got all the jiggies, but I guess not. Are we gonna need Kazooie to get up here? God! Tootie says she's fine with me. I don't know why I'm giving her this voice. You go home, I'll set her free. Yeah, okay, I don't believe that. <laughs> one day, Kazooie. One day. Um, is there a better way to get up there? Because I know there's a Jiggy right there. I remember... Maybe I can't do it. Maybe... Oh, you know what? What is, what is this, actually? Oh, that's the... the okay, that's just the, the, the place. Mumbo's Mountain Overworld Jiggy Puzzle. Jiggy puzzle. Uh, okay, one more try. No, okay. I'm gonna assume that we come back. If not, somebody else tell me how to get that, because I have no idea how I'm gonna get that as of right now. If it becomes obvious later how to get it, then you guys don't have to bother telling me. If it's gonna become strikingly obvious. And on that episode, when it does or should be, become strikingly obvious, if I forget, then you're gonna have to let me know. Uh, to go back there to get that jiggy. How many jiggies are there in the game? That's a Googleable fact. <laughs> I'll do that in between episodes, I suppose. Because I, I don't know if I want to 100% the game. I'm not completely sure. I'm assuming that you don't need to 100% the game to beat the game, you know what I mean? Uh, kind of like how in Mario Sun- Wow, there's a place that we could go. I never even noticed that. We're not gonna head down there right now, though. Even though Grunt uh, Gruntilda's lair would be fun to explore, uh, we're not gonna go anywhere other than Treasure- Treasure Trove Cove? Oh, look at me! I remembered the name! Yeah! That's good. Um, I feel like I'm gonna wanna get all of the jiggies in each world before I, um... Remove pieces that you have already put. Down. Press the down C button. But once the picture is complete, you probably can't do it yet. Okay, I gotcha. 
They're stuck permanently. Gotcha! Gotcha, Bubbles. Thanks for the tip. Okay, Treasure Trove Cove unlocked. I don't get it. What the heck? Oh, cool! Do we actually- Oh, cool! I like it. Good job, Rare. You were- You- You did good job. I really like the fact that- Oh, is this where we get the wing cap? No? I'm not getting the wing cap. That's weird. I have no idea where actually- Where the actual launch of the world is for Treasure Trove Cove, but that's the- That's the next world, so we're gonna go. This is Kazooie Shock Jump Disc. Find me an Alp Leslie. So there's probably gonna you could you probably have like an exclusive jump or something that you could do on there But I guess we're gonna have to go find the actual uh, World opening for treasure trove cove watch it be back in that last room. I'm an idiot. I don't know um, Man Grimtilda's lair is actually kind of big. Maybe I should just inspect the world back here um, No Oh dear god in heaven above Dear God in heaven above. Okay, I'll bite. Hello there, young ones. Did that just say Brentilda? I'll be to defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting trick secrets. Why did I read it? Tricks. <laughs> Silly Bryson, tricks are for kids. Fiery fate. Must be if you'd like to hear them. I want to hear them. Let's hear them. Brentilda. Br oh, sorry. And she gets her clothes from the trash can! Is this serious? Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with moldy cheese! Flavored toothpaste. One more. Just one more. She also washes her hair with ENGINE OIL! Yuck. You know what, maybe just one more. And she gets her clothes from the trash can again! Grunty's plan is rather cunning. Um, what? <laughs> I zoned out there, what? Uh, I can't see for the life of me the treasure trove cove thing. Uh, where exactly did we come from? It was that one, right? So this one's where I'm gonna go because I have a feeling Treasure Trove Cove's world entrance is probably within this load zone because that would make most sense to me. What in God's name? Is this the pot that was in the first cutscene? You've activated a magic cauldron! Find two the same color to create a something. God, you know what? It's weird because like at fr Oh, I didn't even- wow. Oh yeah, we can't shift the camera. Okay, I just collected a secret mumbo thing. Cool! Um, it's funny because how much I criticize the, uh, well not criticize, I guess. It's, I don't really care either way. But the uh, tech speed is really slow, so I read apart really fast. And then the rest just goes off the screen because I'm like looking around elsewhere in my room. So I'm kind of underestimating the tech speed. Is the, where am I? Where's Treasure Trove Cove? I guess it's, if, yeah, I guess it is through here. That's weird. You'd think it'd all be in this, within the same load zone. Um, I'm assuming we could probably climb through here, right? Is this a new load zone? Yeah. Yeah, the secrets. Rare's got them secrets. Secret secrets. <laughs> Like a hydro electric power plant banjo. What am I talking about? Give me your nut. Give me your nut and bolt. Oh, hey! Please be purple. You've activated a magic culture. No, it's red. To the same color to create a shortcut. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's, it kind of, that, that reminds me a lot of, oh god, no, no, no. Oh, I thought I was gonna fall down a hole. You can poke him. Uh, that kind of reminds me of friggin', um, Wait, why would we want a shortcut here? Is there a wor world thing? Uh, does Gruntilda just keep talking to us if we're in Gruntilda's lair? I mean, that's kind of cool. Um, it kind the the pot thing kind of reminds me of uh, the Zelda thing, uh, the the transportation through dungeons. It's cool. I like it. Uh, let's see. 
Let us see. Have we been? Have we been down there? I don't think so. No, we haven't. Okay. I thought this could have been the place we were earlier. Oh my god, this place is a maze. There's so many places to go. Okay, this this is an accordion. This has got to be Treasure Trove Cove, right? Treasure Trove Cove! How beautiful. That's weird. I, the, the fact that, um... You gotta you actually find the place within Gruntilda's lair, and it's not anywhere near the... Okay, the music here is sweet. Ahoy there! This is... This be Treasure Trove Cove! There be two new moves for ye to find! Thank you. Yeah, buttons. But buttons! Ha! <laughs> Bubbles. Snacker smells tasty dinner. Oh god. No, 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 Snacker. Dinner is not served! And those were the magic words to make him freaking go away. What in God's name is that? I want to get at least a couple jiggies before we end the episode here. Hey, bud. How you doing? Please be friendly. Hey, this nipper's peach. You find nothing without nipper help. That, that voice is going to actually make my throat completely kill itself, so I'm just going to stop. Cheeky bird. Oh, yeah, just try it, shellhead. Okay, um... The dynamic between uh, Banjo and Kazooie really remind me of... <laughs> they remind me of this other game I have seen non-extensively. Red Feather, I help Kazooie fly when she knows how she... 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 Really? Also, fly when she knows how. So that's foreshadowing. Get out of here. Die already! Do I have to light ground pound you? Eh, too late. Oh wow, not too late. Just in time, in fact. This is the uh, thing. Okay. That's interesting. I've always thought Kazooie was a girl. Boy. Boy is the word I'm looking for. Um, you can already sort of see a difficulty increase in um, the collectible finding in. Uh, Treasure Trove Cove compared to Mumbo's Mountain, because in Mumbo's Mountain, everything was kind of just together, whereas in Treasure Trove Cove, it seems like everything's really far apart. What does the- what does the- the- the red feather sound effect remind me of? Um... Oh, you know what it is? Is, uh, uh, Mario Bros. 3, the, uh, the Tanuki suit. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, I want to at least get one Jiggy then, game. Is this guy crying? I was just about to punch him. That would have made his day terrible. Ahoy there, I'm Captain Blubber, and I'm burping all over the place, apparently. Well, go find it then, Blubber Guts. Ah, but I can't swim. Can you find an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. Banjo's so nonchalant. At least I make him nonchalant. It's done here. Actually, wow, how did I know that? Good. Slam this ship. Uh, nothing interesting. Seems we're gonna need the uh, invisibility cap to get any farther. <laughs> uh, that's not even funny anymore. Um, although we can dive. Oh, a mumbo thingy. And gold bars? Is that. Ser oh, there are so many friggin' collectibles in this, it's not even funny. Do I have a breath limit? Because so far, I haven't seen any indication of such. I'm gonna go get these gold bars. Ahoy there! I be Blubber's treasure! Okay. So it's probably like a world exclusive collectible, right? If I had to guess. Can I break this? No, it seems ridiculous. How would you ever get back up? Um, as of right now, I don't think we could advance any farther through there. Interesting. Alright, let's get out of here. I want one Jiggy! Just one Jiggy! I've gotten no Jiggies in Treasure Trove Cove and I've been here for minutes. Give me the Jigster. Oh, suck it up, hips. Oh, whoa. That'd be half of my gold! Okay! I get the- I get this guy's- this guy's premise now. He probably has a Jiggy for me, right? I mean, if I had to guess, you'd help people out, they give you Jiggies. Or a path, if you're a freaking Diddy Kong. 
Uh, what's going on, apiary guy? I still need to confirm that that's even what that's called. I don't even know. Um... Oh yeah, we've been. We've been here before. Oh, oh uh, I'd like to point something out that I noticed when recollecting- Oh my god, what in god's name? Uh... I really, really appreciate the sound design in this game. Oh, you guys see that? You guys probably know about it already. Oh god, oh god, oh no, oh balls, balls and balls and- At least I got it. Go, Kazooie! Paddle your little flappers! Paddle the flappers! Oh, oh, there's the breath indicator. No, Kazooie! Keep paddling the flappers, Kazooie! It's actually not gonna kill us in time. God, that is a little scary. I can imagine, like, that's being- that being nightmare fuel. Anyway, as I was saying, the sound design. I appreciate it a lot. If you're in a specific area in a- in a world, the sound design can change- er, the sound design. The, um, the music can change to, uh, fit the specific area within the world more. That's amazing. I love that. There's a flying disc. But you'll have to find my mole hole before you can use it. Alright. Uh, what's this? Is it a bomb with eyes? It's the most non-lethal looking bomb I've seen in my life. I just want one Jiggy. Just give me a Jiggy. Just one Jiggy. Hey bud, what's going on? I know your weakness! That's your weakness. How are we- Okay, so we're one-fourth of the way to all of them. That's good, that's good. Um, so every 50 does unlock a new th- or every 50. Every, uh, every 50 music notes does unlock a new thing, right? Actually, no! It's all completely contingent on how much are- how many are on the numbers. Of the doors. <laughs> My mouth is getting so dry, and I'm trying to continue up the commentary. Uh, is that a Jiggy over there? Oh no, that's the gold that we gave the guy before. I feel like I want to hop in this guy's mouth, but it looks dangerous. Uh, apparently not. Actually, I got hit on his teeth, but that's about it. Okay, let's turn into, a uh, Kazooie runny bird form. <laughs> what, is there a name for this? I forget. Um, I was reading a forum and some guy on the forum called this chicken legs mode. Is that what it's called? Because the guy on the forum stated, I just started the game. This is when I was looking up how to get to the ant hill. The, the top of the ant hill. The guy, the guy goes and calls it chicken leg form or something. That's, uh, that's not- that's gotta not be correct. Please tell me. God, please tell me that that's not the name of this form. <laughs> hey, Clam. Looking kind of clammy today. <laughs> it's very upsetting when you make a joke so stupid that it makes you want to jump off of the, the boxes that you're on. Come on. Oh, a mole hole! What's going on, Bubbles? You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Oh, Banjo. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, then press A and hold A. Hmm, your energy is a little low. Oh, he's gonna refill our energy. Thanks, man. What does this actually do for us, though? Dear God. Oh, there was a thingy. Well, that's good. Can I get a... There's like no- oh wow, I bet yeah, any money we could probably get up there. Like, because like that- As a kid, I don't know if you guys agree, but as a kid- That was weird, I'm not sure if I did that right at all, I don't think so. But as a kid, uh, climbing to the top of a level was like my favorite thing to do. I'm coming! Woo! You know, what I was doing was working, so I can't complain. Hey guys, you seem more important than the others, do you have a jig- no. <laughs> I was gonna say, that seems like something that Mario 64 would do. Like an enemy at the top of the thing. A common enemy that's just one hit. What am I thinking? That I'm comparing this to something that's passed in Mario 64. Is it, um... Is it the bullies that I'm thinking of? They're a little bit harder than just one hit, but they're not actually all that hard. Let's go! <laughs> oh, there's a Jiggy. Oh, thank god. I wanted to at least get one and call it before I called it an episode. Oh god! Okay, you can double jump after this thing. That's cool. Done and done. Oh, we're not. Done and done now, for real. Gulp. 
All right, so that's one for this world. Um, okay, so that is the total amount of Jiggies you have. I kind of wish that it told you how many Jiggies you had in this specific world left to go. Oh, wait. It does. <laughs> okay, <laughs> fantastic. That's actually really helpful. I've been playing for nine minutes. I'm the treasure trophy. Interesting. Anyway, you guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this episode, make sure you guys leave it a like. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram. No, I'm just joking. If you guys uh, want to follow the Let's Play and keep in touch with me, we could be friends, uh, uh, then hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll come back next time when we probably finish up Treasure Trove. Maybe not. I have no idea how uh, expansive this world actually gets.